Yeah, let's go and check first. Stand down, villain. In the name of the Steel Watch, aggressive action will not be tolerated in the presence of the patriarchs of this proud city. The Steel Watch appreciate your cooperation, citizen. All right. Here is patriarchs, but a moment. I must greet a most honored guest. My friend, forgive the cold welcome. My steel watchers are eager watchdogs for the good of the people. I'm sure you understand. Okay. Lord Enver Gortash at your service. I understand congratulations are in order. Thorm's defeat hasn't gone unnoticed. You're known for who you are and for that nether stone that you carry. You mm -hmm. know, it takes all three to control the brain. Without Thorms, it's become vexingly willful. <laughs> the quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the sword coasts infected. You among them. A prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Yeah, Next, not. the grand design. The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well, not the most thrilling of prospects, but it's a fate that can be avoided if you and I come to an understanding. Nope. Together, we can still restore authority over the brain. What do you want? Of course. Gortash always did have an eye for opportunity. It's not. But it will not follow new orders unless the Netherstones are united to give the command. I see. When it finishes executing its current orders, it will be free to do as it wishes. That will be bad for everyone. Uh-huh. Once it is free from its shackles, I doubt we'll ever be able to bring it under control again. Mm, what kind of understanding do you suggest? There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. With Ketherick gone, Orin proved treacherous. <laughs> Balve chosen wants the Netherstones for herself. She only cares for blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. Can I pit them against each other? What are you getting at? Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. You know, she's tricked you before. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. Uh -huh. If Orin obtains all three netherstones, she'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. Mm -hmm. What do you propose? I'd like to propose a pact. A divine oath sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. Thorm's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here. So the three are united. You just basically again. want me to work for you, right? Together we rule Faerun as kings. No, more than kings. Gods. We rule as the absolute. What do you say? Shall we be allies? I can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not, well, we need not honor it. An ally could be useful, at least for now. And when he's no longer useful, well, we can dispose of him then. Hmm. Let's do inside. Gortash's eyes blink in a consistent rhythm. He stands calmly, confidently. He fully intends to share his kingdom with you. Alrighty.
I guess I can just kill him later, right? Then let it be writ by the black hand of Bane. I, Lord Enver Gortash, swear I shall do you no harm. We will rise together over Toriel as a roaring sun. Let me demonstrate why you made the right choice. Mm -hmm. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter, a faceless. Well, I figured, Who, I right? can't say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. A shapeshifter? It could be anyone. I mean, it's not me, but it could be anyone else. <laughs> the faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly. Or any alliance between us would be exceedingly short-lived. First, Orin the Red, bloody dagger of Baal, causes panic in the streets through killings in the Absolute's name. Next, the threat of the Absolute's monstrous armies formed by Merkel's general, Catherine Thor. In such circumstances, people crave strong leaders. Leaders that bring law, order, and protection. Leaders like me, Bane's unyielding hand, author of justice. You are soon to witness the people of Baldur's Gate granting me complete power over them. All out of fear of the Absolute. Next, I, we, will declare curfew and begin infecting the masses. Our subjects will hear the voice of their Absolute God. The faithful will do anything in the name of their God. Yeah, let's let's investigate more, right? Where where did you find the crown? Powerful connections. Let's leave it at that. Ugh. More clever. importantly, just. No, oh, I doubt come. that. Be witness, as I make history, as the first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. All right. Then we proceed. The patriarchs await. Distinguished dukes, patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. Enver Gortash. Swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear. Hmm. Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same by word, deed, and decree so that none may suffer? I swear. Gathered guests, grant ye consent. Enver Gortash, the council appoints you Archduke of Baldur's Gate. All right. My friends, the Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty handed. Alright. Shaking Bane hand. Okay. So let's see. Confront the Elder Brain. We have finally arrived in Baldur's Gate to face the Elder Brain. We must obtain Netherstone from the three chosen. We already have Catherine's Netherstone. Okay. God has proposed a pact of allegiance with us. If we kill Orin and take her netherstone, he will let us rule the city alongside him with the Elder Brain at our command. Disable the Steel Watch. Right, we gotta go to the... Gather your allies. Okay, so that's good. 
the ceremony is over, we should return to Mizora. Where is Mizora? Uh, free crown seller Floric. So see, that's done. Okay, so I can roam about free, right? Raven Guard, you would give up the fist's command? Who's this? Lady Alia Duranbold. Lady Beatrice. Let's talk to her. Lady Alia Duranbold. We can talk to her. Lady Eshwald. Truest of souls. Bathed in her light. There is a fleeting connection. Your parasite communes with his, then falls quiet. Have you come to behold the new dawn? Should I do that? What is a hero, if not an actor for the greater good? Freyrune suffers in darkness. Tears abandoned us. Helm's eye has strayed. But Baldur's Gate will soon burn bright, a beacon to light the heavens. Mm -hmm. Gortash and I will ignite the final spark, and that, true soul, is the greatest of goods. Let's talk to him. Kill Orin and take her netherstone. Find me in my office upstairs when it's done. And All do right. not return until it is done. Let this be my one warning. Lady Alia. Ravenguard has not once failed this city. If he trusts Gortash, then so do I. If it isn't little Will's chums. I hope he hasn't been too much trouble. Poor Miss. thing. He's had a tough go. And you don't know the half of it. Mm -hmm. You see, Gortash has had Will's father relocated. What do you mean? Rude. This is Gortash's game. I'm just an impartial observer. Raven guards good as dead. And to think there's no way to save him. Hmm. Or is there? Of course. You know something. I know enough. Let's talk to Will in your camp. Work something out. <laughs> the Duke's life depends on it. Well, that ends not as bad as it could have. Oh, wow. Worms Rock, audience hall is here. We can't go here, right? We haven't checked this part out yet. Uh. So is this Lord Juna Spotty? Patriots are upstairs. Alright, fine. What's here? Just the food, right? Ah, I don't really need it. Uh, Boldarian stew food. Rapier Shimathar. Spear Sealed. Lord Amber's bodyguard. Look, I'm all for Gortash, but those clankers, they don't sit right with me. Because they do your job better than you and without complaining. It is unnerving. Yeah. Imagine where we'd be without them. The city would be overrun. They're all that's keeping this cult at bay. He has a point. They make people feel safe, if nothing else. Uh-huh. You hear this? 
Tell my friends how safe you feel with those metal giants stamping about. Hmm. All right. No need to kill the mood. <laughs> Come on, Snop. You sure can pick him. Ah, uh, iron branded seal plus. Let's check this. Plus three armor class. Uh, I'm not really fond of it. Okay, let's go back. Alright, let's feet. go out here. Hell, not this again. It's resisting its orders. Without all three stones to control it, it will soon start acting on its own will. What? Oh, uh, what are you? What are you doing in here? You notice the gnome slip a lockpick into his pocket. Ah. Uh. You're not a fist. Go on, get out, or I'll, I'll wake the others. Yeah, let's do that. Uh. I'm no thief. I, I was going to pay it back. Eventually, I just. I needed the gold. For what? I'm getting out of here. Taking a ferry down the coast to get me home. Those bloody crooks at the docks are charging triple though. Danger money. It's a joke. Yeah. No. I mean, uh, I'm just... I quit. Nothing wrong with quitting a job. That's true. My wife said we have to stand and fight and... And I can't. I won't. I'm not made for this. Mm. I'm not a soldier. I only joined for the uniform and a warm bed. They're better off without me. I'm scared. All I want is to go home. Alrighty. I mean, they are sleeping, right? Careful for work. What's the note about? I should never have left Cookwood. Why does he have this foxy job? Lock picking impossible. Why? So this is also lock picking impossible. Fine, let's just steal it. Let's go back to the camp, I guess. Alright, let's drop it here. Okay, let's open it up. Yep. Legending. Belly slam, gold. Scroll of confusion, gold. 
trap disarm toolkit good okay I need a quick word your tadpole quivers revealing your discussion with Mazura to will mm. shit father's been taken and Mazura started to scheme by all the hounds of the hells what is she planning A little too eager for my liking. Well, we'll have answers soon enough. Let's talk to Mazora. Until then, may my father keep safe, whatever coop he's been flown to. Yep. I met her twice. The first time, I was a boy of seven or eight at a banquet in the Flaming Fist's honor. One lurk and I was smitten chestnut hair that flowed behind her like willow fronds as she floated from one room to the next as if carried by clouds. The second time, Stelmane was different. Mm. Even with the aid of a cane, each step she took was a struggle. Every word she spoke took great physical effort. A stroke victim, I asked father later. No, he said, a stroke survivor. You sense uncertainty in Will's voice. He questions his father's explanation. Yeah, let's do that. Mm, something's always gnawed at me. At the banquet, Stelmay didn't seem to look at us, but through us. Uh. But that second time, her gaze never left me. It was steel, sharp and unyielding. It could just be my imagination, but I always felt that it was more than a stroke that had changed her. Hmm. What, though? I couldn't say. I couldn't say. But think about this. My father was tadpole. Stelmane is dead. The people are frightened and the council's in disarray. Mm -hmm. To exert control, you must first sow chaos. A tyrant strategy, as father would say. That is true. These murders aren't random acts. Someone powerful is guiding the killer's hand, and the city is made weaker for it. Already? This come, sisters, be my testament. No tomb sit in Beator. No tomb sit in Beator. Holy hells. I come to bargain. The hells demand witness. Your parasite links with Wills, and your memories flow into him. He sees his father's flight from Worm's Rock, and hears Mizora's words to you. Shit. Where did Gortash send my father? How do I save him? Sisters. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Your contract, Will. Signed in blood, forged in fire, bound 
in bone, but not unbreakable. Hmm. A life for a life. Okay. No contract is ended without sacrifice. The cost must be paid. Will Ravenguard, a choice is before you. Option one, I show you the way to your father. I guarantee him no harm except that from you and your allies. And you pledge your soul to me and the Archdevil Zariel in a pact eternal. Option two, I break your pact and you are freed from your duty. Your father dies by his enemy's hand, and Baldur's Gate loses its greatest champion. Yeah. Name your sacrifice. Bloody Zariel. I won't let her take Will. Silence, Karlak. Mizora, you asshole. Choose. Addendum F. The Absolute must be avenged for the Soulbinder's detention at Moonrise. The Soulbearer retains his gifts until such time as the Absolute is slain. Okay. You deserve your freedom, yes. You damned wretch! Father... Do it. Break the pact. Fiat Ita. Fiat Ita. Anima ad beator. Never a good idea to. Didn't think you had it in you. <laughs> Seems my boy's all grown up. <laughs> and don't go fussing about your father. You made your choice. You knew the terms. You know what? I think I'll stick around. Not for the greater good, you understand. Just for the entertainment. Hey. Yeah, why can't we just find him on our own, right? Why? And and the pack says, like, she won't even save him. Just show the way, right? <laughs> so it's, it's, it's not a good deal, in my opinion. Alrighty. Gods, I spent seven years choked by Mazura's leash, and I spent seven years hoping to break free. Mm. I never knew freedom could taste so bittersweet. I have to believe that. I'm not the hell's puppet in life nor its warrior in death. The blade will be guiding his own hand. Hmm. But freedom will be paid in my father's blood. Tomorrow, I celebrate my gain. Today, I mourn my loss. A moment passes. In the stillness, you find a moat of tranquility. Hmm. The Raven God name now lives solely with me. I will make it count for something. Yeah, exactly. He's not dead yet, right? I signed his life away before the Hell's witnesses. It would be easier to drink the sticks down to the last drop than to alter his fate. I'd be a fool to wish otherwise. We obtain the final two nether stones and take back our mine. All right, fine. Astarian? Will gave up his father to have freedom. Hmm. An understandable decision. <laughs> Sacrifices must be made after all. Yep. Especially if the old duke's fall means his rise. Hmm. Jahira. I did not know Duke Ravenguard that well. But I am sure he would not want his son to become slave to Zariel for his sake. Yep. I am sure Will knows that. 
But we would do well to remind him when his days grow dark. No one truly understands the weight of loss until they've worn it a while. There is no shame in sharing the load when you need to. Hmm. Mm, yep. 